Hey, I'm Darren, and this is Three Things to Know for Wednesday, September the 20th, also known as Fed Interest Rate Decision Day. Google's AI chatbot will integrate into Gmail, Docs, Maps, YouTube, and more in the future. Called BARD Extensions, it will allow you to generate missions that pull info from parts of your Google account. Google promises it won't use your private data for its AI. Disney says it will nearly double up its investment in theme parks. The parks, particularly international, have been a bright spot while struggling with its streaming division. Disney will invest roughly $60 billion over the next 10 years in parks and cruises. Housing starts sink 11.3% in August, well below analyst forecast. This is the lowest since 2020. This measurement has been one of the few strong indicators in housing lately. Most of the downturn can be blamed on multifamily units. Trade while you sleep and across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, smile big and bright. Shriners Hospitals for Children is able to make an everyday miracle happen for kids like me. Because of you. We are happy and we know it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please go to webshriners.org right away. Mall shopping making a comeback? Remember saying, hey mom, drop me off at the mall and pick me up at clothes. Well, according to a market analyst report published in June, many malls have recorded robust occupancy levels and larger crowds than before the pandemic. After the past decade, the growth of online shopping has raised fears that the physical mall experience would disappear, especially with the younger generation and with closures from the pandemic. The analysis found that foot traffic in top-tier malls was up by 12% in 2022 compared to 2019. These top-tier centers tend to feature newer brands and luxury retailers. During the same time period, top-tier malls reported an annual growth rate of 5% with $7.5 billion in total revenue last year, while lower-tier malls lagged slightly behind in foot traffic and revenue. On average, top-tier malls were more than 95% leased last year, while space in lower-tier malls were about 89% leased. Why was I feeling depressed when I had so many reasons to be happy? Well, guess what? Anybody can feel down. But that's not the time to just put on a brave smile and pretend like nothing's wrong. It's the time to share your feelings with your friends, your parents, your favorite teacher. In the meantime, there's a resource that helped me get back on track. For some great clues about starting your comeback from depression, visit yourlifeyourvoice.org. The pick of the day. Arbitrage algorithms have signaled a future uptrend for Yext, ticker Y-E-X-T. Yext is a New York-based online marketing and search company. It operates Yext Platform, which is a cloud-based platform that allows its customers to provide answers to consumer questions, to control the facts about their businesses, and the content of their landing pages. Institutional investors own 71.5% of the stock. As of closing on Tuesday, Yext was at 619 a share. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.